Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. Today, I thought I'll share with you guys a super quick guide on how to get custom fonts running on your Android devices. So taking your phones from that boring standard textile to something that looks like this. And yeah, it's completely free. So why not give it a try? And as always, if any of you guys want to grab my live wallpapers, you can do so from my very own Epic Live Wallpaper app. And of course, make sure to visit the request section where you can also submit your own wallpaper requests. Now using this method, you're going to be able to get access to 200 plus custom fonts. Now obviously I can't guarantee every single one of them will work, but majority will. And facilitating this is none other than the app ZFont3, which is not only going to give us fonts, but also custom emojis as well. And because it is free to use, expect some ads. And of course, once you've accepted its terms and conditions, you should see a screen much like this with different categories listed out. Now here, for this tutorial, we're going to focus on the stylish fonts. Here, there's literally over 200 you can select from. Flow, Imprimo Love, Comic Book, Jojo. So yeah, once you've found one that you like, just tap on it. You can test out on top to see what it will look like. And if you're happy with it, just click, download and apply. And now at this point, the app will walk you through exactly what you need to do. Let's start by selecting the operating system. Because we're using One UI, make sure to select One UI All, after which you'll have this step-by-step -step breakdown. Now here, we need to follow every step. So first up, let's install the font Samsung Sans. At this point, you might see this pop up where because of policy changes, the app itself can't actually install files. So instead, as a sidestep, we're going to have to install the sister app Z file. After which, this time when we click on install Samsung Sans, we need to make sure that we give the Z file the permission that it needs in order to actually install other files onto your device. After which, let's try again. And there we go, successfully installed. Next, let's change the font style to Samsung Sans from whatever it is right now. And if you already have Samsung Sans installed, select default and then reapply it. Step three, make sure you actually already signed into your Samsung account on the device itself. Step four, we need to create a settings backup. Now, because the step does actually use the Samsung built-in backup and restore data function, you want to be very careful here because you could actually wipe your phone's data itself. Anytime it comes to backing up and restoring, you want to take your time, make sure the backup set to only settings, back it up. And then step five, we want to uninstall Samsung Sans. Now for the final bit, let's install the Jojo font. Pretty straightforward. And then we want to set the font to default. And finally, we want to restore the settings that we backed up earlier and making sure to select only the settings. So here you can see when I went to restore, it selected all of the apps, everything on the phone. So we want to make sure we uncheck this and only select settings. After which, let it run and you should instantly see the font switch up. So now all of the font on your phones literally changed to take on the Jojo theme. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So now if you wanted, you can actually flick through the app, find an alternative font and go through the exact same steps, uninstalling and reinstalling the Samsung Sans font, going through the backup process, restoring and bam, there you go, 200 brand new fonts for you guys to play with. And of course, if you guys want to see more underrated apps, make sure to like and subscribe. And why not check out some of my Android customization videos. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.